This is Joshua Hart for GTH Boxing. Today I'm joined by a victorious Liam Davies. Liam, I can already imagine how you're feeling, but just put it into words how you're feeling right now. Yeah, I'm ecstatic, made up. I feel like um, tonight was a big night. I defended my belts that I've worked very hard to get, and uh, I feel like I've done it in devastating fashion. So, yeah, I'm very happy, and um, like I say, it couldn't have gone any better, really. Before we talk about performance, I just want to quickly go back to York Hall when you first faced off with Jason Cunningham. I remember I interviewed you there, and your words at the end of the at the end of the interview were, "You're going to get bashed, boy." I think you put that into real life tonight. Yeah, I backed everything up that I said. Um, it was a lot of talk before, and I have got respect for any man that gets in the ring, and I wish him well. Do you know what I mean? But it's a business, and um, we sold the fight. I sold the fight. And, uh, yeah, it brought attention to the things. It brought attention to the night. But there's plenty here. I'm sure plenty are watching TNT. TNT's first bo night of boxing, and uh, I finished it off with a bang for the night. And just talking about your performance, you came out and you looked very calm in front of us. It was a very noisy crowd. Did you almost feel like you were going to get him out at some point, but just not that early, maybe? Yeah. Do you know what it was? I, I've, I believed I was going to get him. Um... I didn't know how early, do you know what I mean? And I wasn't expecting anything and then let be later down the line and thinking, oh, no, I was just being myself. And uh, I think that's the way to be, do you know what I mean? That comes with experience. You can't look into it. It's a 12-round fight you're scheduled for. But, yeah, first round and very happy. It's a nice week. You don't get paid overtime, so, yeah, made up. And do you feel like that's a statement at the world level now, obviously, as people have mentioned, you're already ranked in a lot of the governing bodies. Do you feel like now is that that do you feel like that was your breakthrough? Um, I feel like it's been a build up of each fight, fight by fight. Do you know what I mean? I won't say one's just a, a changing fight. I, the only one that changes you changes it is when you're a world become a world champion. I believe so. Uh, these are just stepping stones, and I'm going to keep working towards the big one, which is a world title. And I'm not saying when it will come. I'm not saying I want it now, but that's what motivates me to keep pushing on. Obviously, a lot of people, have, well, you've already mentioned that you want to be back out in October, or that is the plan anyway. Have you got any names in mind that you'd like to face in October? Nah, no names. Just get me out in October. And um, I'd like to say, no one comes to mind to fight anyone. So uh, as long as it makes sense. I'd like someone in the top top 10, high ranked than me. I keep fighting people that are lower ranked than me. Those are good contenders, you know what I mean? But... I want a real challenge, and I feel like tonight I've shown I'm ready for that. In, in just three weeks, you've got Dennis McCann, obviously, he's in your weight division as well. He's facing your former opponent in Baluta. How do you feel he'll get on that night? <sighs> Not really bothered. I hope, like, I hope they have a good fight. I think it's a good test. And like I said before, I've shown the blueprint how to beat Baluta. Uh, he's a very tough man. He's coming off a win, so... Yeah, may the best man win, but I'd say if they if they want anything nice, they've all got to come to see me, and it uh, comes at a heavy price after after tonight. Do you reckon if Dennis gets him out, gets blue to as fast as you got Conor out, do you reckon he could be the potential opponent for October? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, there's talks that it could happen. He keeps saying he wants it. I'm not going to shy away, but um, he's he's just got to do his thing, and then we'll talk after. I just want to talk about the crowd. Obviously, they came out. They were, it, it, in my honesty, it was probably one of the noisiest crowds I've ever seen. How thankful are you to have that many people behind you? Obviously, this was your third time headline, and just how grateful are you to have that many people? Yeah, that's that's. I always say this is my greatest achievement, having the people of Telford behind me. Do you know what I mean? Because you can't buy that, and um, that's memories that will live in me forever. All these people coming out supporting me. Uh, sending these messages, but coming, spending their hard-earned money to come watch me. That just shows, I must, people say I'm arrogant, this and that. It must show I'm a genuine nice guy, which I believe I am. A lot of people have uh, shown that by coming out and supporting me once again, and I want to thank them all. Hope they had a good night, and hope everyone got home safe. Do you feel like they almost push you on even more to deliver a good performance in the ring? Yeah, obviously it's... Do you know what it is for me, Telford? I don't, I, a boxing ring's anywhere, realistically. Like, that's how I do generally see it. People think home advantages. Me, I just think a ring's a ring. But 
I look at it as the memories made in years to come when it's all done. I look back and be very grateful and probably realise how much bigger it is. Well, Liam, obviously, I'll let you go now. Thank, Thank you for you. sticking around and letting me do the last interview with you, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers.